Uh, so look, let's look at this real quick. We get 90 protein and 90 fruits and vegetables, plus a little hydration and hunger, and we get 0.7 max health and stamina. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Om nom nom. Boom, baby. Look at that. We have a health cap of 90 now and a stamina cap of 92. Fill this all the way up, and our tummy is happy. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do a variety of things I have planned for today. Um, so, let's see. We just got attacked by Charlie, and uh, I killed them and then repaired uh, the relatively minor damage that they've done. Uh, so, we got that taken care of. I have... I'm still trying to build my nails up before we do our next building session. Uh, we do have 200 planks, though. We have a, over a full stack of circuit boards now. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to make our winter jacket just so we get that done and out of the way because uh, we have plenty of cotton to do that. Um, but I think the very first thing we're going to do is I found a beehive. Um, I'm hoping it's still there. Uh, so we need medicinal tonic and spoiled meat to make an insect repellent. Um, let's actually make a couple of those just so we have another one on hand for later. And we're going to go hit that beehive. We also need to refresh our chicken again. Um, so we'll do that. Let's eat this steak and eggs. Uh, we are at 89 now on our health cap, so we're doing really good in that regard. Uh, let's throw back a couple tomatoes and let's drink some water before we set out. Uh, we have two lockpicks made up here, and I'm just trying to build, you know, the mass and power back up for other things. Uh, we have 84 of those, so let's go uh, of the iron fragments. Let's go out here and just take a quick, quick peek. I haven't been hit by Alpha or Bravo for a while, so I'm expecting an attack, an attack from them pretty soon. Charlie and I have been kind of going back and forth. He's, they've attacked us a couple of times now. Um, but Bravo and Alpha have been quiet, so again... They're probably going to hit us here pretty soon. All right, so let's put that in there. Uh, we got arrows, so yeah, we got to we got to refresh our chicken. This guy's uh, or gal or whatever's at level ten. Okay, so let's head on over this way. And uh, um, actually, no, we're going to go this way because the the beehive that I found is over this way. Uh, let's see, we got some... Let's grab the kelp. I'm not going to worry about the sandstone. I actually have um, quite a few stand, sandstone, and all of it has been from, you know, hunter loot. I haven't mined a single sandstone yet. We will probably, you know, eventually do that. I I'm, I'm want it more for making jars for food, you know, jam and stuff, than I do for making glass stuff. Uh, but we'll probably, you know, eventually make some glass stuff, too. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the, the beehive that I found, I, I ran a, ran by it at nighttime. I was on my way back, and it's just right over across the way here. Hopefully it's still there. Um, I don't know how long it takes for those to reset. But uh, if it's still there uh, and we get the honey, then we can actually make a honey-glazed ham, which will be really, really good food. So we'll do that because we can. Plus, it'll free up a couple spots in my refrigerator. Um, no, it'll free up one spot in the refrigerator. And I think the honey's also used to make, like, the stamina boost thingies. Um, I've, I've never actually made one of those, but you can loot them down in the lava cave. You can get those as loot. So we'll see if this is still there. If it's not, you know, what I'll do... You know, now that it's we're well into spring, fact, is it May still? Oh no, it's June. It's summertime now. Uh, I'm gonna carry the insect repellent with me for the next time we run into a hive. Oh yeah, it's still there. Good, awesome. So yeah, I don't know how long those. Uh, and there's two bears. Of course, there's two bears. I don't know how long those stay in place. 
but these bears are going to be a hassle. So what we're going to do is we're going to run them both off. Get them away from the honey. While we're running through this little part of the birchwood too, let's keep our eyes peeled for a locked crate, which we'll have to come back for because we have two grizzly bears chasing us. And it's generally not a good idea to stop and loot something when you have two grizzly bears chasing you at the same time. In fact, it's not a good idea to stop and loot something when you have one grizzly bear chasing you, let alone two. Okay, so th those guys are done. He's still tracking us, though. Now we got... Oh, man. Now we got this guy. Okay, let's, let's pull them up this way. Or him, it, whatever. We will grab that. Okay, now he's just tracking. So let's go around this way. Yeah, Charlie's uh, Charlie's being a pain in my butt, man. I think it's about time we might pay them a visit. Their base is pretty much built. You know, once you see that tower up on top of their base, they're... Uh, well, let me put it this way. They have all the rooms in place that would have the, the loot chest that we're, we're interested in. Oh, for goodness sakes. Everything wants to eat me. Right. Just trying to get to the honey. Now we're running back into the bear again. There's some iron, maybe? I don't know. Can't tell. Alright, we don't want to go too far that way. All right, you know what? I'm getting a little bit upset here. I think we're going to have to blast a wolf. If he's still on us by the time we get to the honey. All right, you know what? You had your chance to escape with your life, and you blew it. You absolutely blew it, pal. Okay. Beehive. Uh, before we actually do this, let's just make sure, again, that we're reasonably clear. I think we are. Okay. So, use. We are now beehiveable. It looks like a big old snake coiled around the tree. I don't know if, I, if it's quicker to pick this or axe it. I've tried both ways and it seems like it's about the same. Okay, oh, we got four honey. Okay, not bad. And then the bees will chase us for a little while, while and then they'll bugger off. Get it? Bugger off? <laughs> oh, I killed me. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's continue. So we got to find a chicken. Um, Preferably not with that thing flying around. And... You're a level one. You know what? We will take you out. Might as well. So yeah, we'll just carry this other insect repellent around with us. Well, may I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. If the honey stays there for quite some time, we could just keep the repellent at the base and then come back and get it next time we find a new one. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. It Does it stay there for a long time, like as in several in-game days, uh, or not? Uh, because if it does, if it's a thing where it stays there for many days or even almost indefinitely until you harvest it, then I probably don't want to carry around the insect repellent all the time because it just takes up an inventory slot. Okay, so... Uh, we are after a chicken. So let's go ahead and keep looking around. There's some scrap over there. Two things of scrap. One there and one here. So on the agenda for today, after we get back, is we're going to make the winter coat, like I said. Um, then we're probably going to go ahead and make our first solar panel. 
I want to get, you know, start getting that stuff going. Um, I, I will eventually make at least two turbines and uh, probably multiple solar panels when it's all said and done. Uh, let's not worry about the rabbit. Um, so, yeah, we'll work on that, get that winter coat made. And there was one other thing I was going to... Oh, maybe we might actually go ahead and upgrade our animal pin to support a second animal. And we might also make a light for our second crop plot. So we'll see how that goes. So just kind of multiple things on the to-do list for today. we got a crate over here. Let's grab it. Of course, the game knows we're after chickens now, so there's not a chicken to be had. Isn't that the way it goes? Nah. Nah, we got to be positive. we got to be positive. Uh, my base on the multiplayer server is over this direction. And there's actually a surprising number of uh, lock crates that spawn over here uh, in this area that I didn't know that. I, I, I didn't realize lock crates were over in the glacial valley. So we found, I don't know, two or three... Uh, just yesterday afternoon when we were live streaming. Is that, uh, that's just a rock up there, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, yeah, I found locked crates up in this area. And then down by, you know, the this pond down here that we're I'm going to go to. It's called the, I think it's called the Upper Glacial Pond or something like that. And, uh, oh, bear. And just kind of a little bit further to the north of it, uh, we found a couple locked crates too. But anyway, yeah, I have my base right here. So we're, it's built across the water up against this cliff face. And, uh, pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, uh, Let's just run up here. We're not going to go all the way up this valley, uh, but I just want to run over to the area where we found some lock crates yesterday and just take a quick look before we start heading back. And, of course, we're still looking for chickens, too. And look at this. Let's grab this, too. We are going to need these uh, to, make, to make solar panels because solar panels require, among other things, circuit boards. So yeah, we've seen them up kind of right around in here, across the river that way. But does look like we got one for today. And I don't want to spend too much more time looking because I want to get back and get that stuff done today. And hopefully we'll get back to the base before Bravo and or Alpha decide to attack us. You're level one. Okay, let's go up this way. We do want to be a little careful up in here. This is cougar territory. We still haven't killed a cougar yet in season two. But we will. We certainly will. Look at that, you guys. Locked crate. How about that? All right, let's open her up. That's cool. Okay, we got some shotgun shells, some rifle ammo. All right, good stuff. Nothing super, super rare, but can't complain. I'm always happy to get more ammo. Okay, so let's start heading back and continuing to look for Mrs. Chicken. another bar up there here's a building crate yeah I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting no I'm not kind of I am wanting to get our nails up to 300 before we do the next building session just because 
That way we can use 200 nails to build and still have 100. Oh, rogues. Uh, still have 100 left over for repairs. So that's kind of the idea behind all that. We have some scrap a doodle here and uh, ammo crate here. Nice. We need the magnum ammo. I actually put the magnum away for now so that I can put my pick on my number five slot because I got tired of switching the dumb things around all the time. Oh, and our first strawberry of the year. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so we got to get the cooking pot made too because... Oh, look at that. Um, oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, because uh, we can start making jam. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's eat those two guys. Okay. Okay, let's drop a few things off here. Okay, so all of this goes in here. So we're up to 232 nails now. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I don't... Oh, and this goes in there too. Okay, so let's... Let's just stick the honey in here for the moment. Put that in there. And we'll put this stuff in here. Strawberries can go there. Those can go there. That can go in there. Um, I, I, th I think I am just going to keep that in there for now. That's all weapons and ammo stuff. Look at that. We got a full stack of nines plus 57 more. That's pretty good. That can go in there. Uh, that can go in there. And this can go in here. And we'll just do that little bit of uh, iron there. Okay. I uh, should not have had that with me. Didn't need to bring that with me. Okay, let's look and see if anyone's coming. Uh, nope, looks like we're good. All right, so, yeah, we didn't get the chicken, but that's okay. We'll go out and look for another one later. So, first order of business. Let's actually go ahead and make honey glazed ham. We got two pork chops. We got two honeys. I think we need two potatoes, two carrots, and maybe two onions. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh, I guess we didn't need the onions. Okay, cool. So we'll make that, and we'll have that for lunch. It's going to be really good. Good, good, good food. The best food we've been able to make to date. And now, let's go ahead and grab all of this cotton, and we already have one padded thing here. We're going to need some sinew. We're going to need some um, cordage. And what else do we... Uh, well, the first thing we need to do is make four more of these because we're going to make the winter coat. Is I know it's a little bit weird that I'm making a winter jacket uh, in June, but we're doing it so it, it gets done and we don't have to worry about it come winter time. We're going to need some cloth as well. And uh, two ropes. Okay, so let's go uh, two ropes. And... Oh, we need feathers too. And then we're going to need three more of these. And that still leaves us 39 more cotton. Of course, we're going to need some straight-up cotton to make the coat as well. Presumably for the batting of the coat. All right, so how are you doing? You're about at 45%. Okay, so we're waiting for that stuff to, to do its thing. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is... Let's look at... Uh, putting a light on here. So to do that, we need two ingots, another rope, some scrap, and some... And I'm glad that eagle doesn't try and kill my chicken. Uh, some electronics. Okay. Alright, so this is at 100 mass. So something uh, that I that I learned on the multiplayer server, and I, I want to show you guys. So let's take five logs, and let's take... Uh, we got all this stuff to feed in there, too. Okay, so if I feed five logs into here, that gives us five mass. It also takes five logs to make ten sticks, right? So if you... If you take the sticks, here, let me make 10. 
Okay, so it takes five logs to make ten sticks. Five logs give us five mass, right? Ten sticks gives us six mass. So sticks, if you take the time to convert your logs into sticks first and then throw them in the mass recycler, you get more stuff. Um, so, yeah. The, uh, the folks on the multiplayer server pointed that out to me, and I appreciate uh, that they did that. Okay. Oh, crap. Our fire just went out. Dad, gum it. Okay, here. Let's, uh... <laughs> I did. didn't even think about that. That's right. We got plenty of matches. Okay, we'll start that back up. Uh, now, I've also started burning meat, as you can see, because I just started getting too much of it. So let's throw that in there. That gives us 22 and a half mass. That's really good. And uh, we also just... I just throw those stupid... Uh, er herbal antibiotic or herbal medicine plant seed things in there because you find it all over the place. Why bother planting it? Okay, so yeah, uh, so that's a really good way to get mass because wood is really free and easy to get, and we've already got that up to 201. Um, okay, so now the next thing uh, can we make the coat? Are we ready to make the coat? We're ready to make the coat. Let's do it. Boom. All right, so we're only six months late, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better late than never. And we will need it, you know, for next year. Now, I'm debating whether or not I should make the sweater because here's the thing. I don't think you can wear the sweater and the T-shirt at the same time. Now, if you can and you know that, please, please let me know that in the comments. Um, But otherwise, I already have the heavy-duty T-shirt, right? And it gives us six protection and two warmth. The sweater gives us one more warmth, but we lose five protection. So I'm thinking, what's the point in making this? I'd rather keep this, carry some heat packs around if it gets absolutely brutally cold, you know, and, and call it a day. Unless I can wear the t-shirt and the sweater at the same time, in which case then, yeah, definitely the sweater would be nice to have. Okay, we finally have our winter jacket. Uh, we are going to store the winter jacket in, I guess, in here for now, and we don't need it until, of course, winter time rolls around. Excellent, we got that done. Okay, now, the next thing is uh, we wanted to make ourselves a uh, our first solar panel. Okay, so let's do that next solar panel. So we're going to need, uh, we got all the, the power of the mass we need for that. Um, three circuit boards and another rope. Okay, so let's make the rope now. I'll eventually, like I said, have more than one. In fact, um, you know, you can actually loot solar panels from the hunters when you raid them and so hopefully we'll get lucky later on as when we raid them and we'll find find some solar panels i don't know about i don't know about the um, wind turbines but definitely the solar pa solar panels you can let's put the cotton back in there for now uh, okay so we got the rope and then we're going to need three circuit boards so for circuit boards we want electronics copper and pearls let's grab our uh, pearls and our electronics and I got a little bit of overflow copper in here and then a full stack in here. Okay, so I think we need to make three of these. One, two, three. Okay, that takes care of that. And uh, we'll put this copper back in here. Pearls can go back in there as can the electronics. Just kind of keep looking out there for our friends to show up. So when those are finished... We should have everything we need uh, to make this. Oh, we need 10 of these. So there's 10 of those and four adhesives. Okay, just about there. While we're waiting for that, let's make another rope because we, we were going to need one of those for the second light on our crop plot up there. And we need to look at um, upgrade upgrades on the crop plots, but I also want to look, like I said, I'm considering adding another animal slot in our animal pen too. See, the thing about that, though, is it's great to add more animals, but now it's going to take more food and water to, to sustain them. So we have to make sure we can support that. All right, here we go. Boom, baby. We got ourselves a solar panel. It's a beautiful thing. Um, okay. So that took our mass almost completely down. Uh, power's not doing too bad. Let's grab some biofuel and get this going again. At some point, I'm going to need to also make a new generator just to beef up our power production. But right now, we've been fine with just the one. We've been getting by just fine with just the one there. Okay. 
solar panel time. All right, now let's go back up to our crop plot and look at that again. So we need electronic scrap. Oh, and two ingots. Okay. I don't think I have any ingots. I do. Never mind. We have ingots. Scrap and electronics. Beautiful. And then, you know, eventually we'll have, uh, it's my plan to have uh, four crop plots. Oh, crap. We don't have enough power and, uh, just looking at this stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for that power mass to build back up. Okay, that's not a problem. That is not a problem. Uh, oh, solar panel. Yeah, we were going to put the solar panel up. So let's put that in place. Uh, we're just going to kind of stick it in the middle of the roof for now. This roof is not the final product by any stretch of the imagination. It's just kind of where we are uh, right now. Uh, so let's uh, let's flip it this way. Uh, the sun, well, I don't think it really matters where you put it is in terms of where the sun is. I've never really noticed that make a difference. Okay, so that obviously isn't going to do a doggone thing for us tonight, but tomorrow morning when the sun comes up, It'll start supplementing our power, which is great. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, 500 power, 80 mass. We have to wait for that to get the light going on our second crop plot. How far away are we from those things? Okay, the power is just about there. The mass, I mean, yeah, I, I'd rather wait for the free mass. I know it's, it means we've got to wait for a while, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's take, take the free stuff where we can get it, right? All right, we're going to put all this stuff back in here for now. Uh, we'll put the rope down there and the pearls and the cotton. I kind of keep the more valuable stuff down low and the more common stuff up above. That's just kind of how I roll, you know? Okay, so feathers can go back up in here. And let's look at... Here, let's turn this on and then go out into the dark anyways. <laughs> um, let's look at the this. Now, so we're going to need one ingot one alloy sheet oh no that's the feces tray never mind two boards one ingot that's actually not that expensive it really isn't maybe we should well see maybe i should just do them both and get it be done with it it really isn't that expensive at all we have the two ingots for it and for the free range is already yeah because three chickens in one pen would probably be all we would need. Uh, I only actually had, for the most, for the most part, I only had two chickens in season one, and even those two chickens, you know, I eventually got to the point where I had a, a stack of eggs, you know. So, okay, cool. Well, all right. Well, we gotta wait uh, until our mass and power builds back up. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, wait out the night, and I might go out and do another in-game day off-camera day, uh, gathering some more nails because I, I really want to get going back on the building stuff, and wait till the power mass is built back up so we can continue those upgrades, and then uh, we will bring you back at that point, do the upgrades uh, do some, you know, do some more building and um, go from there. Okay. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And am I forgetting? Oh. Boy, man, that would be just cry worthy if that went bad. Uh, so, look, let's look at this real quick. We get 90 protein and 90 fruits and vegetables. Plus a little hydration hunger. And we get 0.7 max health and stamina. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Om nom nom. Boom, baby. Look at that. We have a health cap of 90 now and a stamina cap of 92. Fill this all the way up and our tummy is happy. Yes, indeed. All right, you guys. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.